Remedy Games are making a connected universe. More exclusives coming to Marvel's Avenger and Hitman VR might as well be an exclusive. Hello everybody and welcome to a new episode of Top Gaming News. My name is Gavin Manis and welcome to the world of exclusive gaming. In the most recent state of play, we got to see a new expansion of Control in which we will get to see some Alan Wake as it's called Alan Wake Expansion. This game won't be a crossover event but it will be uncovering the mysteries behind Alan Wake which is scattered in Control. The game will center around Federal Bureau of Control's investigator sector which was sealed off several years ago after things went horribly wrong. Now Control Director, that is the protagonist of the game, seeks to reclaim it by fighting or taking on this mysterious creature that has haunted the area for years. Alan Wake was such a good game and ever since Alan Wake American Nightmare was made which was so much different than Alan Wake, Remedy has not touched upon Alan Wake game ever since and there has been talks about Alan Wake 2 which are basically rumors but we haven't seen anything about Alan Wake yet. Instead, we have seen games like Quantum Break and Control. The expansion will add a new form for service weapons called Surge, which fires sticky grenades that can be remotely detonated. There is a new enemy type, His Airborne Ranger, which has a shotgun and can fly, and a new altered item that can let you replay boss fights from the campaign. The iconic Ashtray Maze can also be replayed, and there will be more surprises coming to this DLC. The best thing was mentioned in the PlayStation blog where it was written that there were various easter eggs in Control that were related to previous Remedy games. But what if these easter eggs are not easter eggs? What if they were planned to be there? What if there was a connected universe altogether? It seems like they're actually making a Remedy connected universe. You can see like Alan Wake, Quantum Break and Control are similar type of games. Maybe they are cooking something. Huh, gotta call the rock for this. Control is right now available on Epic Store but it should be available on Steam as well on August 17th because on that day the one year exclusivity of Epic Games will be over. However, we don't know if the expansion will be added to the Steam version of the game or not. If you guys haven't played Alan Wake then you can play the game from Xbox Game Pass which you can join for the first time for only Rs 50. Call of Duty news keeps on coming as very recently Raven and Triarch tweeted out that they were working together on the next Call of Duty game which will possibly be revealed soon. Now apparently they want to communicate with Call of Duty players via Call of Duty Warzone. As everybody knows Warzone is one of the biggest thing that Call of Duty is running right now and they are pushing in a lot of content. In an earnings call, Activision president told that Warzone is a great place to share franchise news and information and this game in particular made them think how, when and where will they reveal their next games. Looks like they will be revealing the next Call of Duty game inside of Warzone? How is that gonna work? I mean, are you gonna play a Warzone game and in the middle of nowhere you're gonna have an announcement a new Call of Duty is coming? A user on Twitter also backs this up saying that it might be possible that the pre-order of the new game might be done through Call of Duty Warzone or Modern Warfare. I actually am so confused what to call this game. Is it Call of Duty Warzone? Is it Call of Duty Modern Warfare? Is it Call of Duty Modern Warfare Warzone? It's so goddamn confusing. Apparently one of his friends extracted some kind of code which speaks out that the pre-order will happen inside the game somehow. And he also believes that Woods might be a pre-order bonus. On top of that, some Call of Duty influencers are getting this mysterious crate from Activision which says that do not open this before 10th of August, which is today. Maybe inside that crate there will be Captain Price. That dude is literally everywhere. But it could be quite possible that we might get something about the next game in this very month because a lot of rumors are backing it up that the reveal of the next Call of Duty game is coming very very soon and possibly this very month. You know what, at this point I'm done with the rumors. I just want them to release the game. Just reveal it on YouTube, Twitch, wherever you can. Just reveal it because I want to see what this game is and I'm done with the rumors. Marvel's Avengers beta started last weekend with the PS4 and people actually had some mixed opinions. The game played well and it looked really good as well but there might be some opinions regarding on gameplay and multiplayer aspects of it. However, some people are furious that this game has an exclusive character to PlayStation players. That's right, the game is having Spider-Man as an exclusive character to only PlayStation players. 
Now the reason why is because Sony owns Spider-Man character. So now Crystal Dynamics are bound to have the Spider-Man character only to PlayStation owners. I know that sucks a hell lot more because these exclusive offers is something that needs to get rid of from gaming. However, it seems like there will be more of such exclusive stuff happening for PlayStation players. Whenever new hero will join, PlayStation players will get an exclusive access to outfits, emote, takedown and even nameplate for the character. And this also includes the original 6 characters that you can play in the game. PlayStation Plus subscribers will have more benefit that is unlocking a bundle of every superhero that includes another outfit and a nameplate and 100 credits to spend. Goodness gracious, they're adding so much to PlayStation players. Unfortunately, Crystal Dynamics must be in some kind of contract or negotiation where they have to build these exclusive offers. Now again, these exclusive offers are only available for a month. After that, all of these items will be available in every single platform. But it still sucks to see that we have exclusive characters and items in a game that is about to launch. But unfortunately, as of right now, we have to stick with this formula. Marvel's Avenger will have an open beta for PlayStation 4 and it will come this weekend and the next weekend it will be an open beta for PC players. All you need to do is create an account in Square Enix website and you are set. Before we go ahead to the next news, I would like you guys to hit that like button and also comment down below as you watch this video and I reply to every single one of you guys. Trust me. Last week, Rocksteady Studios announced a new game called Suicide Squad where the poster was targeting Superman. Previously, there was leaked that Suicide Squad is actually gonna target Justice League. And it might be possible that it is the plot. The game will have a full reveal on a date of August 22nd which is the DC Fandom event where you get to see everything about DC, TV shows, movies and even games. And one of those games is Suicide Squad. Although there were more speculations that a new Batman game and a new Harry Potter game is also going to be revealed in DC Fandom. And since we know that there is a gaming section in the DC Fandom part, then obviously they won't be only revealing one single game. Of course, they will be revealing more and more games. So maybe Batman is still a thing and we might get a Harry Potter mobile game because that's what the rumors say. So I'm really excited to see how Rocksteady will be able to make this game because I have faith in Rocksteady. Well, because they made Batman games. <laughs> Speaking of awesome, we got to see in PlayStation State of Play that Hitman 3 will have VR support. But unfortunately, it's only for PlayStation at the moment. Looks like we have another game added to the PlayStation exclusive list. Actually, they did not mention that it's exclusive to PlayStation and maybe they will add VR support to PC at a later time as well. Well, there was more info added into the blog post of PlayStation stating that you can play levels of Hitman, Hitman 2, in Hitman 3. Not only that, you can have all those missions in VR. Which means you will be owning Hitman and Hitman 2 if you buy Hitman 3, which is absolutely amazing. And it's so awesome that you can almost play every single level of these Hitman games in VR. That's amazing. What do you guys think of Hitman 3 or Suicide Squad? I'm so much excited to see what's gonna happen next for Suicide Squad on August 22nd. Apex Legends announced their season 6 with a new trailer where everything was going back in time which is definitely what the game won't have. The main star of this new trailer is Rampart who is an Indian character and who is voiced by the same person who voiced Symmetra in Overwatch, Anjali Bhimani. So cool to see her in this game. Now Rampart is a modder. Not like modding Thomas the Tank Engine in Resident Evil 2 Remake. I never thought that my childhood would return in such scary fashion. But she is a modder of guns as she has this ginormous gun with her called Sheila. Not, not that Sheila. And she also has a wielding mask which means she might be an engineer. What more this game is going to add is crafting. Sounds weird to have that in Battle Royale games. And you don't have to pick Rampart to do crafting. Apparently that is going to be added for everyone. As of right now, there has been no info released about the crafting but we do know that there is more new stuff being added. For example, a new energy SMG gun called Volt, which is a gun from Titanfall 2. Season 6 is going to come out on August 18th and hopefully, we get to see a new gameplay trailer pretty soon. Well, later on tonight, everybody knows that Cyberpunk Night City Wire Episode 2 is coming out where they have told that they will be showcasing more details about the game such as different types of weapons, details about life path and talk about the refused transformation into samurai, whatever that means. 
Also, Microsoft has announced that you can play Xbox game on your mobile devices using their xCloud service which will be launching on September 15th. But unfortunately, on that date, it won't be releasing in India. It will only be releasing in selected places. Now, I don't know how long we have to wait to get our hands on xCloud, but I'm definitely sure when xCloud comes here, a lot of people are going to have so much fun playing such amazing games in Android devices. Thank you all of you guys for watching this episode. Give us a like and subscribe if you haven't already to see more awesome videos and streams coming every single week. Also comment down below what do you think of this very video. I definitely read all comments and reply to them. Well, my name is Given Manners and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.